have a haul. You're looking at a bag. I figured I'd do this quickly. Well, kind of quickly. Uh, because Kaidel's taking a nap. I could wait till he's awake because I know you guys enjoy hearing him in the background. <laughs> but he is taking a nap. And um, I went over to Savers today because um, my husband was in the military. So they have military discount and senior discount on Tuesdays. So I decided to head over there and see what I could find. Sometimes I just mosey on over there. I'm going to move the camera here so you guys can see better. Hopefully that's better. There we go. Alright, so here is the first bag. So all of this was 30% off. So if it was $2.99, it came up to $2.09. And I read that off the receipt. I did not memorize it. I promise you guys. I do not know math. So first off, we have this um, bar of soap. Eucalyptus made in Prescott, Arizona. And I live in Arizona, so that's really good. So it's a handmade soap. Um, scented wax cubes from Better Home. It's warm baking spices and it's full. I do use these from time to time. Usually not that brand, but that's what was in there. So it's brand new. Let me smell that. Oh, that smells like cinnamon. It smells good. And then another bar of soap. This one is not marked, but these might be from the same place. It's definitely a handmade soap. And then this little plastic soap dish which badly needs to be washed. So we're just going to leave it in there. <laughs> Wash it. Next on the table we have this. Now, I, whenever I see like natural or handmade soaps, I try to get them. Because you can get a really good price. As long, you know, as long as they're not used, I'll get them. Um, because I prefer them over other soaps with a lot of chemicals in them. And since I can't afford natural soaps, when I find them at the... Goodwill, they're really good prices, sometimes a dollar, sometimes less. So I um, try to grab them and stock up instead of paying like $7 and up a bar. This is Simply Be Well set of six plant-based moisturizing body soaps. All right. And it, it sounded like it was full, so I went ahead and grabbed this. It was $4.99. So I'm going to look at the receipt. So it came to $349, I think. Yeah, I think it came to $349, which is good for um, six bars. Now let's open it. Oh, they're all falling out. Wow. That's really awesome. Look at those guys. So these are brand new, and this is what each one looks like, except they're different colors. They see Simply Be Well. Oh wow, these smell amazing. This one is um, crushed blueberry, cranberry, oh wow, that smells so good. Almond milk, amazing. Lemon poppy, oh, that's really good. I don't think this is the lemon poppy though, is it? It might be. Olive oil scented. That one smells great. And peppermint bark. That does not smell like peppermint. I think maybe some of these got switched. Anyway, that's what was in there. Great price. And then there was a random bar dial soap. Which I don't use, but there it is. <laughs> so that was a great bag right there. The next one we have is... Um, this one, so it came to 209 because it was 30% off. It's a bag of baby hats. Let's go through it. That is so sweet. There's little, um, I think they're triangles with little lions on it, and it's gray. Look how cute that is. Okay. And the next one is navy blue with little puppies on it. What size are these? That's six months. This one is three months. I was hoping there would be newborn ones. This one looks small. This one's newborn. Oh, that's so sweet. Look at that. A monkey, a giraffe, and an elephant. 
That is so cute. I'm going to put that on the new baby. Um, let's see. Chickpea. And I don't see a size on it. Okay, so you can assume it's newborn. <laughs> so those are the baby hats. And now I'm going back into soap, guys, because I found so many bars of soap there today. I don't know what was going on, but somebody turned over all their soaps. So this was $3.99. Hold on. This one was $3.99, so it came out to $2.79. And let's get into this one. So some of these don't have labels on them, which is okay. Oh, Christmas tree. Sea Star Blends. Melissa. Then it has someone's address on it. There's that one. And this one is bubble wrapped. It's a big slab of soap. Definitely homemade. No markings on it. I mean, no um, label on it. A little small bar. A round bar, which seems to have come open. I don't know if I'll use this one. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I can just cut it or something. And then um, this sparkly one, which has no label on it. So none of those had a label on them. But they all seem unused and just fine. And for that price, for that many bars, I will take it every time. Here's another one. More soap, guys. So this one is Spice Plum Sonoma Soap Company, 72% organic glycerin soap. Oh, that smells really good. And there's the cover, or the front, I mean. And then this one is Creamy Coconut Gentle Glycerin Soap. So these are all glycerin ones, and this is from Bath & Body Works. Still in the package. Another Bath & Body Works. And this one is Coconut Lime Verbena. Verbena. I don't know how to say that. Maybe I said it right. Maybe I said it wrong. Another one, Bath and Body Works. And this one is Cool Citrus Basil. So those are good, good, good. Next one we have is another soap bag. Let's see what we got in this one. So these are Chinese markings. Um, I'm going to look them up though. This is Bee and Flower Sandalwood Soap. And I really like sandalwood, so. Oh, that smells so good. I'm just an old hippie. Anyway, um, this is ginseng soap, bee and flower. And I'm definitely going to look these up. Ooh, that smells really good, too. Wow. And I knew I would like this one, rosemary and lemongrass. Look at that. Oops. Ooh, that smells so good. This is Verbena and Lavender Crabtree and Evelyn Bath Soap. I've never heard of that before. I will be looking it up. This looks like a bar soap you get at a hotel, maybe. That's what that looks like. And then these two were in there. Citrus Body Bar Pharmacopia. Made with natural and non-toxic body care with all benefits of aromatherapy. Wow, that's interesting. A soothing body bar that leaves skin soft and smooth. It hydrates and protects dry skin with nourishing shea butter. Those look pretty nice. So that's that one. And that was the last soap bag, guys. So thanks for hanging in there. I found a lot of soap today. Then I got this bag. It was $1.99, so it came out to $1.39. And um, the reason I got it was for this giraffe right here. Look at this cute little sleeping giraffe guy. Look, baby giraffe, and he's just sleeping right there. Isn't that so cute? He still had his tag on him. He's a rattle. I thought that was just so sweet. So, he's a little sleepy guy. That's so cute. And then it did have this in there too, which looked really new, so I'll give it to my son. It's a little uh, lamb puppet. Look how cute that is. Um, I have to try it on, guys. I have to. I have to do it. It's a puppet show. It's a puppet show. Look, I'm a lamb and I'm running, 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 running. Hi, guys. 
That is adorable. My son's going to love that. So that is that bag. Oh, you know what? I said that was the last soap bag, but I forgot there was this one. This one looked really interesting. So it was $1.99, so it came out to, like the other one, $1.39. And it has two bars of soap in there that look amazing. So this is Hand and Body Soap, Rinse, Bath and Body Company, Pinar Noir, 98% natural. A well-balanced soap with aromas of cherries, strawberries, and raspberries topped with light but spicy notes of vanilla and oak. So this one has an oaky afterbirth. Ooh, that smells good. It definitely smells like wine country. And this is um, Chardonnay, a rich soap that is wonderfully balanced by a bright citrus note. A sweet oak note weaves together the many layers of aroma and flavor. So don't eat this, guys. Carrying to the finish. Vegan friendly, gluten free. Oh, that smells good, too. I like both of those. And the last thing that was in here, which looked interesting to me, I think this is incense. I'm not sure. Or incense sticks. Yeah, they definitely smell like incense sticks. Um, except for they're like, they're different than the ones I have, like the regular sticks. So I'll look these up to see what exactly they are, but they smell really good. Oh, you know what? I'm not even showing you guys what they look like. That one's broken, but look. You see that? Let me get the light up here. I hope some of this stuff you guys saw. <laughs> I don't want to redo the whole video. Anyway. Um, thanks for bearing with me with the soaps, guys. Alright, this is the second to last thing. $2.99, so it was $2.09. And there are two Behringer babies in here. They look like they need to be cleaned up pretty good. And look, this one doesn't have the plastic bow, it has the fabric bow. Look at this little lady. She's got a pouty face. But I'm going to clean them up, make them look nice. And then there's an even smaller one. Look how cute and tiny. It's so cute. This one looks like it's in better condition than the other one. Has this little outfit on. Look at this little fat booty. Little rolls. Oh my gosh. I love this little tiny one. That is so cute. I want to reborn these tiny ones and make them really cute and sweet. Give them some painted hair. I think it'll be adorable. Okay, the last thing. I'm going to clear all this stuff up and show you the last thing because it's a bigger item. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Guys, almost forgot about these two little items I found. I found this adorable yellow preemie onesie, and it looks really unused. Preemie. And it was $2.49, so I got it for, I really hate not being good at math, guys. I honestly do. I got it for $1.74. And it is so cute and tiny. It has little hearts and flowers on them. And then the other thing I got for $1.99, or it was $1.99, but I got 30% off, is this adorable onesie. It's newborn. And it's Bundles Baby Place brand. Oh, it's zero to three months. I thought it was newborn. Close enough. And it is so cute. And it would be big on the new baby, but um, I have some other babies that I'm going to be um, dressing, so it could work for that. So I just wanted to show you those two guys. Now I'm going to show you the big thing if I can fit it over here. Hold on one second. Guys, this is the big thing. It is a handmade quilt. I got it for... $349 and I want to show you the inside. Look at that. Hold on guys. That's the outside and then that's the inside and then down the middle right here. Look at that. Flowers and leaves. Do you see that guys? And then this is the other interesting thing. I, I'm going to use this quilt for my couch. Um, look at this guys made by Thursdays at duties Flagstaff Arizona with quail country quilters Cottonwood Arizona 2019 and I live in Flagstaff so <laughs> this quilt is really really beautiful and really well made so I had to grab it it is so pretty look at that pattern isn't that beautiful anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this haul and that is all I'll see you guys next time. Bye. 
So, you guys, that was my haul, and I just wanted to come on real quick and say don't forget to vote. I am having a giveaway right now, and I will link it in the description below. Now, um, I just wanted to quickly show you the size difference between this tiny Behringer doll and the tiny Disney Animator dolls. So, look at that, guys. They're almost the same size, except for, of course, this is a little chubby baby. And I decided I'm going to... Um, Reborn this doll first, and I'm not going to use heat set paints. I'm going to use air dry uh, paints and sealer and stuff like that because it's such a small project, and I don't want to put this um, little doll in the oven. So that is what I'm going to do next. So look out for that video coming up, and thank you for watching. Bye, guys. Um.